Today, I'm here to talk about a topic I'm very passionate about. And by looking at me, if you instantly thought, oh, she's gonna talk about race. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> but more specifically, I'm here to talk about what it was like to grow up black in the UK. Now, I grew up like the rest of you, eating ice lollies, watching cartoons, and let's admit it, picking our noses. <laughs> but, most, but, be, but being black in the UK, is trying to fit in. We've all experienced it, desperately trying to be like the rest, whether that's buying the newest trainers or talking in a certain way. But being black is trying to fit into two different notions about who you should be and what you should look like. Frying and sizzling our hair like bacon so we can look this much more like the fairer girls. Or allowing a non-black person to say the N-word so we can look cooler in their eyes. But on the other hand, Black people are supposed to abide by this stereotype to prove our blackness. Things such as liking a certain genre of music, having certain body features, even speaking our native languages. But God forbid we don't fit into this narrative because then we're deemed whitewashed or not black, Oreo, when really we're just liking what we like and doing what we do. Being black in the UK is watching. Watching my parents crumble in fear as they see the latest news of another black child dying. It's seeing myself filled with anger when they won't let me out of the house. Being black in the UK is learning patience. Patience for when Lily and Charles make fun of my name for the tenth time that day. But it's also patience for when Stacey says, oh, No way has grown that long in a week. <sighs> Stacey, these are extensions. <laughs> But most importantly, being black in the UK is belonging. Belonging to a community where we can all confide in each other, even when the Nigerians and the Ghanaians are fighting over whose jollof rice is better, while some Caribbeans argue for their lives as to why it's plantain instead of plantain. We have an unbreakable bond that allows us to laugh about who thought to put Ed Sheeran on the latest Afrobeats track. To have parties that start three hours later than the set time and finish the next day, to drink super malt, dance the azonto, and to send ginger and lemon tea recipes on WhatsApp that African aunties claim will save your life from anything. <laughs> COVID-19, gone. The flu, gone. Let's not forget though, that tea will also save you from the devil. Amen. <laughs> Community will forever be a part of us. And so while my experience hasn't been perfect, I'm thankful for it because being black in the UK is what's made me, me.